Hi, this is Jessica McKeever, and I'm going to be giving you an introduction to Canva. So to go ahead and get started, you will go to canva.com slash education. And when this comes up, you'll see inspiring teachers and engaging students. And right below that, you will go ahead and click get verified. When you do that, you'll be given the option to log in with your Gmail account. So I go ahead and log in. So now you can see that I'm here logged in as an educator, which will then kind of project your templates and things in that manner that you'll have options to use in the way of education. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the templates that are available. So, so many different products that you can choose from. You can go by grade, subject, resource type. You can see here, as you're getting started in your classroom this year, they have classroom decor kits, different topics, but lots of different things that you can choose from. So if we go ahead and select, let's go back up to the top and let's click on, let's say, um, let's do a presentation. So once you're under presentation, you will then be able to choose a theme for your presentation. So let's say we select this one here. So in order to use this theme, you will select customize this template. Once you are inside the template, you'll see that the setup is very similar to say Google Slides or PowerPoint. Uh, when you wanna add a new slide, you come down here to add a page, all right? So let's go ahead and change the font here. And in order to do that, we can just say, Miss McKeever, okay, because this is the class syllabus. So let's add a page. And in order to add from the original design, you need to go ahead and get back to this design page. We'll say apply all 15 pages so that we have the theme throughout. So when I click on the second one here, let's say that I would like to add an element. So I will come over to the left menu where it says elements. And from here, you have graphics to select from, different shapes, lots of different things that you can add in to your presentation or any, any sort of infographic that you may be making here. So let's say that I would like to add a smiley face. I'll click, and when I click on it, it automatically puts it on the slide. You can move it wherever you like, resize it, to whatever size you'd like as well. All right, so then when we come over here, let's go ahead and take a look again using this left menu to see how we could upload something. So I'm gonna click on this third slide here. Um, it's pretty blank, but we'll go ahead and get rid of this element here and we'll use this to upload any file you would like. So it could be a video, it could be audio, you could record yourself, you can upload a file, you can upload an image that you previously had, like this screenshot I had from earlier, and you can size it however you like. And just play with it until you get the size that you would like on there. So moving on to the next slide, we're gonna go ahead and take a look to see how we could say embed a video. Now, in the interest of saving time, I'm not gonna delete all these things, but I'm gonna show you how you could just embed a video and we'll put it over this information here. So back to the left menu, if you scroll to apps, now on some Canva accounts, it will show up as embed. But for a lot of them, it'll just say apps. It really just depends. Um, 
and I'm not sure why it does that. So it will either say embed or it will say apps. If it says apps for you like it does for me, when you select that, you will scroll down till you find, say, YouTube. So let's say we would like to do intro to Canva. We'll search for that video and we'll go ahead and click on that and it will be embedded directly into this presentation. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of this presentation for now. We're gonna go home because now we're gonna see Let's see if we can create something different other than a presentation. So let's say we'd like to create a classroom announcement. Okay, uh, let's say that you have History Club. All right, so you can go ahead and remind people to attend. Again, you're going to click and type directly in the box, meeting after school. on Monday. So once you have your poster done here as well, again, this is, you can print this out. You can hang this up. You could post this electronically and we'll look at how you can download this because once you download it, you can put it anywhere you know, you would like, you can, you can print it, you can open it as a regular file. So we're going to go ahead and get back to home and let's just take a look again at more of the creation things that you can do. So you have a banner that you can do, lesson plans, a planner. Let's say you have a student that has been struggling with organization and you'd like to create a planner for them. You could do that there. Beginning of the school year, if you want to create a class schedule to hang in your room. Um, and you can see here that there really is just a plethora of resources for you. Very specifically, students will be able to come in here and they will be able to create things that they can then submit to you. So we'll go to recent designs. Let's go to this untitled project. I didn't name this anything. This is my history club poster. So let's say that I would like to go ahead and share this. I'll click on the share button in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to scroll down to download. Okay. And once I do that, I'll click download again. And it pops up on the left right here. You can open that up and you see it there. Now, from here, you have options. You can print it, resize it. Again, if you, would, if you need to share it from there, you can share it to email. You can copy the file somewhere. But you'll see that you can actually, if you go to your downloads folder, you can see this History Club poster here. And it's already saved. So you can upload that anywhere. Your students can upload anything that they create as a link. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more video tutorials.